Hey there, sign of Pisces. This is Kim here to do a reading for you all for your next 48 hours. I hope you're doing really good out there. Thanks for joining me. If you're new, please do join and I hope you enjoy it. So Pisces, we always call in your spirit guides, your higher self to give us messages that's for your highest timeline. Um, we're, you know, trying to get uh, messages that will advance our souls will expand our consciousness that is the goal and the first deck i'm using with you pisces is called the soul's journey lesson cards the soul's journey lesson cards by james van pra Friendship. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. Friendship. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. Regret. Kind of like five of cups energy. I know that I cannot change the past. I know that I cannot change the past. <clears throat> And peace, I'm a being of love, and I release all negative energy. I'm a being of love, and I release all negative energy. All right. So that is, um, that was the soul's journey. So that's a little bit, like the beginning to our reading. I'm going to use the Dream Keepers Tarot uh, for the rest of the reading to do a Celtic Cross. So, what do we have? General messages for the sign of Pisces. Next 48 hours or whenever it really resonates with them. Ooh, what's the issue? What's the issue? The Empress energy. It's not really up or down. I'm going to put all of them upright. Um, how I read it might be different depending on how the card comes out. So just know, just know that. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we have the Empress energy. The Empress energy. The creator-like energy, the energy that gives birth to mm, maybe new situations, to new ideas, new ways of doing things, um, successful, lucky. If it's in the reverse, if for some reason this is reverse, it could involve like an unhealthy relationship with um, a mother figure. Either it's the mother themselves or the relationship. Um... The death card is coming out as to me as a challenge as like the resistance to um, some kind of transformation that's wanting to take place. You see the snake. Um, I love this depiction of death because it's it's like a cocoon, right? The snake. It's like all goes back to the earth and then soul goes where it goes and then comes in in another rebirth cycle. So death and rebirth so ending something is the challenge to something really big and beautiful taking its place doesn't mean it can't come in without a transformation but the transformation is part of it of what might makes it like so spectacular scorpio possibly capricorn energy i have the seven of swords this is kind of a neat Seven of Swords compared to the other Seven of Swords, like in different. Yeah, I mean, it's like, I don't know why she's holding on to a bunch of swords that tightly. But she's like sneaking around um, and the mask doesn't do that great of a job, but... It's on there nonetheless. 
lying, cheating, stealing can it can mean that at the root of it is is something that somebody did to you that was very sneaky, or feel sneaky or deceptive. Yeah, the past energy here for Pisces, the High Priestess. That's your your own intuition that came in that said probably who was sneaking around. Now, it can be that the um, High Priestess is you and that you hold on to some secrets. It could be that energy, too. The High Priestess, um, well, she knows. And she's also kind of like passive... Um, no action, non-action, waiting to receive, open though, wise and open to receiving. Kind of does things in a non-traditional way, maybe does things in a secret society way, you know what I mean? Esoteric, <laughs> sounds silly. The now moment, in the now moment, it's going to card represent the now moment. A hierophant. It really lo looks a lot like death, doesn't it? Well, I shouldn't say that, but you know what I mean. In this deck, for some reason, she's got three. Um, her face is going three ways with the hierophant. So it's almost like being able to see many, um, many different angles at one time, seeing from different perspectives. What's interesting is this is a little bit more traditional than this is hierophant and the high priestess truly um divine counterparts look at all these um major arcana with the card that represents deceit we have commitment the high priestess the empress and the closure getting closure some of us are needing closure to move on into a commitment. Some of us are getting into a brand new commitment. There's something about doing something a little bit more traditional or the way, um, maybe the way that others have done it. This really, it's, it's an opening or a closing for you, depending on your story. Near future energy here for Pisces, near future energy. Seven of Pentacles, seven, seven. Um, spiritual number has to do with, um, oh, that's so funny. Uh, um, those, there's a music box in her head, and I just noticed that there's a little ballerina in her head. So the gears are turning in her head. She's thinking, she's contemplating. Sometimes the Seven of Pentacles, I feel, is about choices and consequences because there's all those choices, um, and you're watching the consequences come to you or the harvest. So whatever you're giving seeds to, your thoughts, they're manifesting. Whatever you've been thinking about, it's manifesting. Um, the Seven of Pentacles is just asking that you have patience with this investment. It will pay off. It might have to do with spiritual seeking, too, since the Seven spiritual seeking member is here. How do you feel? King of Wands. You feel inspired to be the main person um, dictating where the actors are set on stage. Like, you want to be the one in control of that. You want to build something that's yours. You want to set this, the conditions for this play, this, quote, stage of life. Be inspiring. You are inspiring to others if you're the king of wands energy. And um, wealthy, wealthy, wealth comes to this king of wands energy. So something you're building and it has to do with commitment and it's going to be very successful because we have the Empress and we have the King of Wands. They're both very successful in what they've built. Right. All right. So the outside influence or in the circumstance around. I have the Creatrix, the Star, and the Chariot. You're creating something something that you have um, that's new. Something that you have never really experienced before. But this is your creation. 
It's your hopes, your dreams. Maybe it's it's saying with this is that the creatrix card in the reverse that maybe it's just not come uh, full like it, it hasn't materialized fully yet. But this is your hopes, your dreams, and your insured success. The chariot and the star in your um, environment. So it's it's good energy and it's solid energy. It's not a hope. It's not a fear. This is the solid energy that's already starting to materialize. The hopes or fears, though. <laughs> hopes or fears. King of Pentacles in reverse is that, you know, that family, family finances, like, aren't going to do good. Or family business, something like that. Um, making ba bad, bad decisions in, in business is a fear. It is not um, necessarily the reality. This also, if it's in love, could be regarding, like, a man that's committed. Okay, so at the end, I have Ace of Wands for your outcome in the reverse with the Page of Wands. And the Page of Wands is um, representing, like, a new passionate beginning. And interestingly enough, if it's in the reverse, your Ace of Wands could be going back to a passion, something that um, holds the key for you. There's something about this passion and I feel like it's passion reignited when it's like this. So we could be talking like past life um, experience and the page of one. So good, good news. It's my good news card. Fresh starts, good news. And if you are looking for something from the past to come back to play, whether it be a passion or a person, that seems likely also. So just to let you know, on the bottom is Ace of Swords. So I expect a truth to be coming to you and clarity to be coming to you about this situation. Um, let's get uh, angel number for you all. Pisces, I'm going to wrap up your reading. Thanks for joining me. Oh, you got my favorite number, 444. <laughs> Trust your journey. Trust the way that it is right now. Trust the way that it's unfolding. So... Trust the way your life unfolds and trust that you are where you need to be at the present moment. I am protected. I am protected at this present moment when you're creating with the divine. You and your project are protected. All right. Thanks. Send you love and light. Bye-bye.